So every day in Under the Sea, there was a basically an overarching theme for the day. And on Monday, it was an overview of aquatic science. And of course, crabs and lobsters, because why not start there? So in the ocean, there are five oceans. And when you teach this, you should have a visual aid of the ocean so they can know where they are. So there's the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Arctic, the Southern, and the Indian. And the Pacific is the largest, and the Southern is near Antarctica, and the Arctic is up above. And the Indian is obviously near India, and the, well, Atlantic is just the in-between area. And you should explain how the moon phases affect the tides, and how, if it's a slightly older group, you can explain why waves aren't actually moving just to stop on top. And if you knew what it looked like, it's actually pretty cool. So, um, crabs, let's go over them. They have a hard outer shell, and their claws can actually be so sharp that they can break coconuts, like, just break it with their hands, and it's really cool to watch. And they have no bones. It's actually all just, like, muscle tissue cartilage, and it's very, it's not too flexible, and sometimes some have to mold, and some actually move into shells, and those are called hermit crabs. And it's really cool to watch. And most have about five pairs of legs and they can live on land and sea, meaning they can survive on land or in the ocean. Well, depending on which type, but most can do that. Now, lobsters on the other hand, they're, mo they're basically exclusively aquatic, which means they like to be in the water. And they have a lot of legs and they're able to open, they like, their claws are able to like crack things open and. It's really cool to watch and they actually molt about um, once a year and they grow up to about three feet and we eat lobsters very commonly and when they molt getting back to that point they're very vulnerable but they've outgrown the shell that their skin is basically a uh, shell like cartilage and when they molt they're um, taking it out and they're like making a new one so they can actually move around in it like when you wear a tiny shirt you really can't move in it and so they're making more room but during the time when they are molting, they are vulnerable to attack and die. And apparently people like to eat them. And that's all on that topic.